used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. I seem to be Even muted. I don't know how long I have been shit. Origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty Assassin's of the Assassin's Creed 1, yes. Assassin's Creed 2. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. God, that, that intro, oh, so nostalgic. It's like, bro, oh, Assassin's Creed games nowadays do not fucking hit like that. They are such shit these days. They do not have the feel of these games at all. And Assassin's Creed 3 is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. I actually think it is my favorite game. You know, Assassin's Creed 3 being my favorite out of the series is what I mean. It's like, we're here. With the worst that these games get, the more I appreciate Unity for how clunky and shit it was. Let's go. Oh man, it's been a long, long time. Man, 2012. I was in, what, third, fourth grade? I think? God.
In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. transition you can't see shit oh there we go I can finally book it This, this part, you know, years ago, when I was younger, I would always sometimes try and get back up here. You go down. I would always try and somehow see if I could find a way to run up there. It doesn't even look like you can try it all now. I know before you could run up a little bit. It doesn't look like they let you try to even move up there even a little bit. It's like they had to slide down there too with all that stuff. Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Man. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Man, it's just been so long, it's almost bizarre to play this. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Nostalgia just, it keeps hitting me. 
so, so long ago. The first time I played this game, I said, fuck all the side quests. I am just gonna go through the sto story first. Like, when I played Assassin's Creed 2, I did all the side quests, but then I was like, man, that is so much shit, I'm just gonna That's go through 3 and do only the These story are first. Objectives that raise your synchronization rate. Alright, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Woohoo! Just feels so nice and smooth. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> God damn! It's funny how, at the time of Assassin's Creed and Uncharted, you had both parkour guys like Nathan Drake, Desmond both voiced by Nolan North and both were exclusive to their business. own console. Be able to build the well, world. I think Assassin's Creed was on here. From you. Assassin's Creed was on PlayStation. It wasn't exclusive to Xbox. If I remember correctly, that is. Sir. God, I... Sir. Everything alright, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Oh, man. Almost bizarre for me to be looking at things with PlayStation controls for this game because invitation, I played on Xbox. Please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Can I shorten these, um... These subtitles, they're really big. Let's turn the effects down to seven. Music down by eight. Um. God, it's already large. Man. We saw club, all that nonsense. Oh, that's perfect. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. We'll do something real quick. Damn it. I wanted to look at the trophies while this cutscene was going on. But a pause. Do you see him? He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. A lawyer is an honest employment. So is well, I already have. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity. Both against Roach and Ken. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Ethan, let's move. As I... As I did in um, Assassin's Creed Unity, I'm going to be trying to do all of the side objectives in the mission, so things might get pretty difficult later on. Oh, 
Man, it's dark as hell. And no one's just gonna see me climbing around like this. You're supposed to be watching a movie, not fucking. I'm gonna see if I could have looked at the trophies now. I would have seen like what I gotta do to try and um, platinum the game and everything. Cause I might try and do that. I'm gonna try and do as much in the game as possible and clear as much as needed to try and get the platinum. Cause I've beaten the game once before in the past where I just completely um. Where I had already completed the game once, where I just did the story, and did one where I tried to do a lot of side quests. And I don't think I had beaten the game on my side quest run on the Xbox. So. Ooh. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things that I remember. But yeah, this Assassin's Creed is still like, it's one of my favorites, and also has my favorite assassin in here as well. I wish they would remaster Assassin's Creed 1. I never got to finish Assassin's Creed 2, and I'm sure a lot of people will know what got me stuck to why I never finished it. It was a certain puzzle by the end of the game. One and three are the only, and Unity. One, three, and Unity are the only ones I've ever beaten. Hey, Phil. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Oh, man. <sighs> God, that kid looks ugly. Since this being the remaster, it has all the DLC stuff, so I'll even be able to play the, um... You know, all the DLC, which I never played before. Which is mostly like an alternate universe sort of thing. One of them is an alternate universe. Hurry! Come, please! Over there! That's the one that did the murder! That man there! A man was killed in the upper balcony! Oh my! I've done no wrong! I search him! Any weapons? I beg your pardon! Did they find the killer? The killer is gracious! Please! Let us through! Order! We must have order! Oh my god, I can't see. French, there is no danger. It happened we right in that balcony. Happen. What are those men doing? Here, man? I'm staying where it's safe. Pardon me. Order! Move. We must have Move. order. Hey. Imbecile. Man, I think the whole first two acts of the game have me playing as Haytham, so I'm not even really going to get to the main stuff for like at least maybe 15 videos. Hell, I could probably get the game done a lot faster than I remember. I was partially not wanting to do this because of how long it took, because I don't actually have the game myself. I have this from a PS Extra subscription that will end um, in March, and it's only the end of January. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Ah. 
Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, America. and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side... Charles Lee. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. A deadly performance. It was easy. Ah, <laughs> the old loading screens. Uh, I don't even, do they do these still? I don't know. Probably not. Knowing how fast a PS5 runs, why would you have these loading screens? Oh my god. Good memories. Living in Utah with the snow and... Now I'm fucking back in a curse at Texas. Some fresh air might do me good. Yeah, you're able to play like little games in here and stuff. I think there's people to talk to. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, well I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. This is something that will definitely be unique to me, looking at all these little interaction points. Never did talk. them before. Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Right, and then we can move on up. Man, imagine being on a ship. Well, you know, imagine being on a ship these days. Like, oh man. 
Like these old time ship stuff, like, oh gosh. Captain? Mr. Kenway, I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Damn. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms in troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might <laughs> want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Now, hold on. That music too quiet. I made a mistake. We gotta turn that up. Get that music back up. Put that sound effects down to six. Keep the voices and music up. to this actor thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle please fellas call this off if the captain sees the us hell with the captain and the hell with you mills who started you on anyway oh yeah oh You just want to keep doing that, huh? There we go. Now I got you. Bitch. Oh, hoo! Are you ready to go again if you are? This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Let's see if I can remember. Yeah, aha! Ooh! Do you yield? All right, all right, all right. That, that, oh man, that was pretty good. That was, okay, so if I remember correctly, you don't hold the counter because you're going to do a weak counter. You got to press. It was all about timing. That's right. <laughs>